Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. Right here we've got a ski that I personally am very familiar with because I've spent a lot of time on it. This is the Nordica Soul Rider 87. Uh, this has been my daily driver ski for a number of years. Um, it has gone more for me into a dedicated park application, uh, but it's still a really good all-mountain ski too. So instead of metal in this ski, we use carbon. So it's the Nordica's Energy CA construction. They've got a few different construction styles. Um, not like we get enforcer construction in these skis. They're more designed to be lighter, snappier, more energetic. So we still get a performance wood core in them, but instead of metal laminates, we get carbon. So it gives the ski a very snappy, poppy feel, very playful, energetic feel. Super, super fun to ski. Uh, in terms of shape, you get a lot of camber in these skis. That's kind of one thing that's that's important about the Soul Riders is the amount of camber in them. You know, in in today's day and age in the in the ski world, in a lot of twin tips, you don't get this much rise in the camber. You don't get this much camber height. You see a lot of twin tips having more of a flatter flatter profile underfoot and then longer tip and tail rocker. These skis do have tip and tail rocker, but that amount of camber is really important to their performance, and, and we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, before we do, let's look at that rocker. So if you're not decambering the ski, the tip starts right about there. As you decamber the ski, you will see the tip start separating to the point where it rises starting back there. So kind of like an adaptable amount of rocker, depending on how you're weighting it. Uh, not like as surfy or smeary as some twin tips, but it is nice having that rocker for turn initiation, for kind of buttery, smeary style things, not too catchy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so super fun ski, carves really well. You know, you might not think of carving when you think of a twin tip, but with that amount of camber underfoot, and it's got a pretty supportive flex pattern. You know, you have softer flex up here in the tips and tails, but underfoot here, the ski is pretty robust. So with camber underfoot and a relatively stiff ski from say this hand to this hand, you get some pretty impressive carving turns on these. It's one of my favorite things about them um, because I love carving, but I also love twin tips and I love park skiing and I love skiing switch and all that kind of stuff. So they carve really well, but then they're a blast in the terrain park. Very balanced ski. Um, we get two different mount points on here, or Nordica lists two different mount points. Realistically, you could do kind of anywhere in between those two points to kind of custom tailor it to the performance that you want. My personal pairs are always mounted dead center. I like to use them in the park. So if you're going to be using the ski in the park, go dead center or at least go close to it. Now, interestingly, Bob St. Pierre also has a pair of these skis and puts it dead on classic mount. He uses this ski for kind of playful, say less serious all mountain skiing. Bob has three young daughters. They don't ski nearly as fast as he does or as he can. So when he's skiing with his family, he takes the Soul Rider 87, a little bit more adaptable. You can manipulate it at slower speeds, just more fun. You know, it makes, it makes exploring the mountain at a moderate pace very enjoyable because you can kind of load the ski up but with a lot of energy very easily without going really fast. So really cool how it can kind of cross over between a park skier like myself or somebody who spends a decent amount of time in the park and then somebody like Bob who's really never going in the park at all or if he is, he's going in there because his kids want to, uh, not because he wants to go slide rails and do tricks. So a lot of fun. Uh, very, very energetic, energetic ski. Uh, the last thing I'll leave you is, is that it doesn't really have any taper to the tip and tail shape, which is another fairly unique thing about the Soul Rider skis. That is another reason why they carve so well, is you get a pretty long effective edge when you're carving a turn. So maybe not as strong as a ski like the, say the Enforcer 88, very close in waist width, um, but still impressive carving performance from these Soul Rider 87s. So just a lot of fun to ski around the whole mountain. Um, not, not winning any superlatives. It's not the lightest, it's not the softest, it's not the strongest, but very, very well-rounded, very agile, and very fun ski. 
Uh, so that's the Soul Rider 87 from Nordica. Let us know if you have any questions about it, as always, and we will see you out there on the slopes.